hello and welcome to this photoshop tutorial and i'm going to teach you guys how to create a random new year wallpaper so let's get started and create a new document i'll be using a white screen for this so i'm going to call this new year and first of all we're going to set up a nice background effect here so let's choose a color for our wallpaper so let's select the gradient tool and I'll select something like some dark color let's do this brown color and we won't take it really black so I'm just gonna make it a darker brown on the other side so for the black let's drag it down and let's double click on this point here I'm gonna make it a bit darker okay let's save that yeah, I'm gonna select a radial for this one and let's make sure you have the darker edge on the outside okay it's perfect okay once you're done with that you can just play around and adjust that and let's create a new layer and i'm going to add a texture which is going to be filled on this so using my paint bucket tool and select pattern as your option here not foreground and i've got a set of textures here downloaded from dnr you can download them from many other websites so i'm going to take something like uh, nice not too strong texture something like that and once you have that in your new layer let's change the blend mode of this layer to soft light you can see it takes in the nice or it would dry overlay yeah perfect you could just lower the opacity here just to have a nice texture effect in the background there perfect I'll make it a bit more brighter okay once you have that I'm going to start in by typing in the text new year so using my text tool you're going to choose a nice strong font a nice big one and I'm going to say I'm going to just type in happy on top there I'm going to make this all caps and I'm going to type in here new year something like that let's zoom in here I'm going to increase the size so just selecting both of them Control D to transform and just increase the size there make sure you just adjust your text depending on exactly how you want it I think I'll take the word near separate okay keep it somewhere like that You can just adjust your text depending on how you want exactly want it. I'll just move around them, make it look like a big to small texture. Okay, and let's add up the year 2011 since that's the year now. Okay, I'm going to increase this one a bit bigger also. Somewhere which is in between the text here. Okay, once you've done that and adjusted, let's add some text effect for this. I'm going to zoom in here again. And first of all, I'm going to add some nice shadow and then I'm going to duplicate that same layer style to all these three. So double click on my happy layer here. And we'll add, first of all, let's add some shadow. So drop shadow. I'm going to lower the opacity here, not making it too strong, just simple. And I'll add an inner shadow also there and increase that. I'll switch this to normal. Make sure you say it to normal. And I'm going to take a brown color, which is something matching to this background dark brown okay and put it lower or leave the opacity let's make this to one one just a simple pressed effect we were looking for okay and i'm going to add some nice now i'm not going to add any color effect here so once you've done that let's click on okay and i'm going to do the same layer style here for all of them so right click copy layer style click on this hold on your shift key and just click on the all the layers here you have right click and select paste layer style so it applies that to all of them okay once you have that i'm going to group all these text layers here so select them with your shift ctrl g to group i'm going to call this i'm just going to type in here happy new year 2011 okay now i'm going to open that up i'm going to create a new layer right above the folders here not in that folder right and i'm going to control click on the happy text and what i'm going to do is 
first of all let's lower the opacity of all these texts here so I'm going to click on the folder and I'm going to lower the opacity I'll tell you exactly why I'm doing that in a moment just lower the opacity and I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay you can see that let's increase the opacity here I just want a nice glowing effect here okay first make sure it since it blends into the background color okay once I've done that I'm going to first of all select my happy texture I'm going to zoom to 100% control click on the texture thumbnail here uh, so that you have that selected and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my gradient tool and just take a look at this trick it's a nice glowing edge I'm going to make here and I'm going to select a white to transparency since my foreground is set to black it's black to transparent just switch that and you have white to transparent make sure you have that selected select radial as your option of gradient and I'm going to click in the center point here and drag straight to the outer edge of this text right we want that reverse off make sure you have your white from the center once you have that nice uh, radial fill in there with that still selected I'm going to go to select modify contract I'm going to lower this opacity or somewhere around maybe three pixels is fine yep and with that selection still there I'm going to hold on my alt key and click on the mask layer with this new layer here so once you click that you have the inner layer hidden the inner selection hidden and the outer selection shown once you have that nice shining effect I'm going to turn that to overlay you see that awesome glowing effect on the edges of this text here so let's do that to the new year 2011 also so again create a new layer control click on your text and select your gradient tool white to transparency click and drag outward from the center point and then let's reduce our selection go to select modify contract three pixels okay and hold on your alt and just click on your mask layer once you have that change your blending mode to overlay you have the perfect one so I'm just going to do that for the other two texts there just do that straight up select modify contract alt click on the mask okay new layer and change that blend mode to overlay again next one the last one I'm going to click and drag make sure you create a new layer for all or you have trouble with the selection all right control click and overlay okay once you have that I'm going to add a different effect for the word 2011 so what I'm going to do is first of all let's group up all these and I'm going to call this outline glow all right and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my 2011 and I'm going to duplicate that once you have that duplicated Going to bring it all the way above and i'm going to turn that blend mode to overlay once you have that nice damn high glow i'm going to blur this up with motion blur so go to filter blur motion blur it will tell you that the text you're adding blur to is going to get rasterized so that means you cannot make any changes to it further okay i don't care so then let's change this to a straight 90 degree and i'm going to blur this up Yep, you see that it has a black glow because the shadow is still applied to that so I'm going to control Z that and first of all I'm going to remove rasterize my text with that glow shadow sorry completely before adding that glow so first of all make sure it's set to overlay and make a new layer blank layer right below that I'm going to merge this with this so keep your text layer selected and control E to merge that and then let's turn this to overlay filter blur motion blur you can see that effect is kind of different now just add a nice glowing you know something like it shows that it's 2011 you can even duplicate that to make it look more strong lower the opacity maybe a bit that's a lot that's completely zero let's dump that I think that's enough okay once you have that nice glowing effect what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the whole layer here so the whole wallpaper what I'm going to do let's say I'm going to select all of them here right click duplicate so it will just duplicate all these layers so what I'm going to do is duplicate the one with the wallpaper the best way to do that is merging all these layers and keeping it right above to do that what you do is use your shortcut control shift alt e which see a new layer comes right above having everything we just created which I'm moving here okay and I'm going to duplicate that again so control J and turn that blend mode to soft light and we'll add a smooth Gaussian blur so go to filter blur Gaussian blur and not a lot just maybe around 8 
and I'm going to lower the opacity obviously just to add some nice glowing just make our glows really strong you could even turn that to overlay and increase that you know it makes it a nice bright wallpaper so that's basically what I was trying to show you guys how to add nice glowing text outer edge there and how to merge in your texture in your background there which you can see right here this one so that was our one we started added a nice texture for the wallpaper there and our text a nice glow we could even try to increase the opacity to make it stronger and a nice blurry 2011 there we go a nice wallpaper for our new year hope you enjoyed this tutorial and try to implement them and create your own nice different wallpaper designs thank you for watching 